Perfecting vowel shapes is a, a lifelong training for singers. The E was correct, E, then it died off a little bit at the bottom. I'm constantly revising and finding new ways to describe or to demonstrate effectively how to get vowel sounds to be accurate in my students. Move that vowel shape as far forward as you can, just have your tongue reach just a little higher in your mouth. E Computer interaction is a very interesting field for computer scientists because number one, we're, we're, we're trying to take the computer and use it as a tool to help a group of people that we don't understand very well. We're going to try an e-vowel mm -hmm. to start with. Our concept was to take my computer and use it to assist the singers in trying to correctly replicate vowels that their professor had assigned to them. So that they wouldn't only just have the voice, once again they'd have the visual aid. There you go. Good. So in computer science, we teach programming classes where students are expected to achieve a certain outcome using their code. The class like human-computer interaction are very different because you're building the technology for people. They often don't know what they need. Their needs are driven by their background and their usage. And they evolve through time. The professor's vow shape is indicated in blue. As the student sings, their vowel is indicated in yellow. As the student gets closer to what the actual correct vowel is, the color will shift from the yellow to the green. The visual representation is so much more effective sometimes than what we hear ourselves singing. For the E vowel, for example, I was moving my tongue farther forward in order to create a brighter sound and also making it uh, more wide instead of a tall mouth shape. It's important that singers understand the oral components of what they do because that's all they will have at their disposal when they perform. However, any visual aids that we can provide give them a, a quick inroad to managing these components. It matters so much the type of vowel that you make when you're singing more so than speaking because if you think about it when you're singing the vowel is the part that gets drawn out for so long that if it's not totally clear what that vowel is for the whole time you're singing it, you won't be able to tell what the word is on the other end. We try to bridge the gap between computer science and other applications. And as a computer scientist, you just don't want to know how to write code, but you also want to be effective in knowing how your code could impact many different um, areas and applications. I live really to take computers and help other people. So being able to involve myself with a different group of people is actually really exciting. Mezzo to mezzo. Yeah. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.